Hello folks, this is the Roaming Casual back again with some more Final Fantasy XIV. Um, I wanted to make a video today just to show you what the Palace of the Dead looks like. Um, so the Palace of the Dead is a an infinite dungeon as far as I am aware, although you stop getting achievements I think after the, the 200th floor. Um, and basically there are two options for it. You can queue up by yourself as part of a random group. Um, in that case, you get matched with three other people. Um, their classes don't really come into play for that, so you aren't assured you will have a tank and a healer. Um, it's just four people running the dungeon together. Um, and you go through, I believe it's 10 levels of the dungeon, um, and then you get to a stopping point where it saves your progress and you can re -queue. Alternatively, you can be part of a static group, which can also just be you by yourself, um, where you uh, try to make it through the floors together, um, and you don't have any sort of random people joining you to help out. Um, so first I'll show off the class system a little bit. So right now we are a conjurer. We have our little conjurer wand and our conjurer shield. Uh, but I can come over here and I can say, actually, I'd rather be uh, a Thaumaturge. So now I have a cane, and now I cast ice, fire, and lightning spells. Or I can come over to Dragoon, in which case I have my spear and I have all my regular Dragoon abilities. I've been messing around with the, uh, the glamour system, which is why my armor isn't changing. Um, we can switch back to Kanji. It looks like we lost a belt somewhere. Not sure how that happened. So let me just fix that. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm switching to it, I'm telling it to update. Um, because it has that little error next to it, and I'm not quite sure where our belt went. Um, but I'm going to go in as healer just because it's a little more forgiving. Uh, we talk to this guy here. And we say, hey, we'd like to enter the Palace of the Dead. This is our save slot, and we want to go in with a match party. Yes. And then we get in immediately, which was kind of unexpected, but all right. So we don't have access to our regular inventory in here. Instead, we only have access to the items uh, that exist within the Palace of the Dead. Um, and those are, um, I forget what they call them, palmanders, I think, um, as well as some potions. Um, and they show up in this little items window. Uh, we can keep that over here if we want to, um, just so we have easy access to it. We start off at level one, no matter what level we were initially. Just gonna tell people hi. And it looks like we have, I think, a gladiator. A samurai. And I'm not sure about that one. So levels in here work a little bit differently than levels outside. Oops, somebody set off a trap. Um, in that we can actually level all the way up to max level in the Palace of the Dead, but it only gives us a certain amount of XP when we leave for our actual regular levels. Um, so it'll look like we're leveling really fast, and we do get all of the abilities that come with those levels while we're in here, but then when we leave, we gain a set amount of XP based on how far we made it, um, and how much we did while we were inside, and yeah, we we will level when we leave more than likely, but it won't be to the extent that we leveled while we were in here. Oops. Let's heal people.
Um, and at least for these first few levels, healing is a little superfluous. Uh, just because you level so fast and you heal up to max each time you level. Um, I really wish this dress was dyeable. It's so pretty, but it's so white. So I don't like white clothes. I mean, admittedly, she's a video game character, so the whole it'll get dirty problem doesn't come into play, but... Still. Ah, managed to cast something. Okay, so the blue treasure chest will give you a bonus to your... Oh great, I'm silenced. Um, to either your aether pool armor or weapon. You'll notice this isn't the weapon I was holding when we came in. Um, so while you're in here, you use a special weapon and special armor, even though you don't get to see the different armor, uh, that gets bonuses based on the number of those chests that you've opened. Um, so as you can see right now, I'm at plus five, plus eight. Um, you do have to be a little bit careful because sometimes opening those chests, uh, they actually are trapped and explode. I don't think that happens too much on the very lower levels, like the ones we're on right now. Or I should say upper levels, I guess, because you're technically going down in the Palace of the Dead. Um, but it, it is something to keep in mind. So generally, people who already have leveled their weapons tend to prefer it if you wait to open the chest until they have left the room. Uh, so that the whole party doesn't die because you're trying to get a plus one. Um, and unfortunately, our one little attack spell that we have as a healer uh, takes a while to cast, and these folks are not taking as long to do damage, so they, uh, they kill things generally before we can do much to them, which I suppose is fine. It just means we don't feel like we're helping out all that much until people start dying. Which at this level really shouldn't happen too often. Alright, is somebody gonna go open the chest? Alright, seven. I got to cast the spell. I mean, the thing was dead by the time I did it, but still, I did technically finish casting it. Um, so for Palmanders, you can only hold three of a given one. Um, so if you already have three and you find another one, it'll tell you you can't pick it up. Um, and at that point, it's generally a good idea to use it if you like if it would be useful in any way um, because you can go ahead and pick up the new one oh. and that's why you need to be careful about the chess and now we have a little cutscene It's 
which means this must be the boss floor. Oh, maybe not. What are we on? Floor five. Oh, we're only halfway to the boss floor. That's weird. Usually there are cutscenes on every tenth level. Or maybe I'm remembering that wrong. It's very possible. Um, the Karn of Return that you're seeing over here uh, is a way for your party to res members who have died if you don't have a healer. Um, so as long as you've cleared the room that the Karn of Return is in, it becomes active and anybody could use it to res anybody who dies in the party. Looks like we're clearing. Oh dear. Basically, the only thing I'm managing to do with these things is cast arrow on them, uh, which is a little dot. Uh, it does not do much damage at all. Hey, armor's at plus nine. That's pretty good. Um, so the levels go, if I remember correctly, up to 99. As you can imagine, it takes a little while to get there. In the same sense that there's a little bit of water in the ocean. Um, there are bonuses to doing it. Obviously, your weapons and armor become more powerful as they gain those levels. Um, but also, you can use those levels to uh, make versions of these weapons that exist outside the Palace of the Dead. Uh, they're actually fairly good weapons, um, and so they're useful to have. Um, you can also use the tufts of phoenix fur, like uh, phoenix down, like he picked up, uh, to res other party members if you need to.
really need a Suna. Which would get rid of the poison. That's why I said that. Sorry. No points to the armor and no points to the weapon. I mean, I can do that again. Oh, and the entire party shares access to this item list, um, which is why you keep seeing these, you know, you return the Palmander of Steel to the coffer. Um, obviously I wasn't opening the chest, but the party can't have another one, so it gets put back in the box. I feel so short in this group. I've also lost track entirely of what floor we're on. Oh, nine. All right, so after this should be the boss floor. Oh dear. And... Oh good, we finally got a bonus to our weapon.
All right, and so this is the first boss in the palace. Um, the bosses are always the same. Don't stand in the bad, you know. Typical MMO strategy stuff. Oh, there's no escaping that one. But, boss has been taken out. And within the dungeon, we are all level 22. Woo and we will... Mend our tank, and out we go. And we get our cutscene. Ooh, I got a Suna! Finally. Um, so Asuna removes a single detrimental effect from the target, which means it'll get rid of poison or curse or what have you. Um, and we have just leveled up to 10. Uh, obviously we were 22 inside the dungeon, so that's not the same. Uh, but we will go ahead and click here, see if we can queue up for the next floor. Oh, that was quick. Um, there are item level requirements for some of the floors uh, once you start getting a little bit lower down. Um, in fact, I think the third tier was where I got cut off cut off last time. Um, <laughs> we have two healers and two DPS. So we've got two conjurers, a machinist, and a uh, arcanist. Alright, and somebody used our Palmander of Intuition. So at some point in the floor, assuming we go looking for it, we should find a... basically a, a golden sparkly light. Um, and that is where the treasure is that we need to pick up. Oh, somebody got silenced. Hopefully we find it because the uh, the accursed hordes, as they're called, they get opened outside the dungeon. Um, and they give you items that you basically can't get outside of here, if I remember correctly.
Oh good, we're going to try to avoid the enemies. This never goes wrong. Um, it does look like we're not looking for the Accursed Horde, unfortunately, so... No item for us. We're not really in a power position to go looking for it on our own right now. Um, there are achievements for completing this solo. Um, so you can go in as a fixed party of one. Um, like I said, those achievements stop, if I remember correctly, at level 200. I assume it first. I mean, I'd like the blue treasure chest, but... Floor 14. I'm back up while they do that. Okay, so we're at plus 9. And that is the glowing gold light that I mentioned earlier. Somebody went for it and got silenced. Um, so you go stand in it. Um, and then the chest will appear, and then you open it. Generally speaking, giant eyeballs are associated with gaze attacks, which means it's usually good to look in the other direction. Um, this isn't always true, I don't think, but it, it is true enough that not doing so can get you in trouble. Oh dear.
but as it levels, our weapon will change color. Uh, so it started out a bright yellow, and it'll eventually change over to green. I think it ends on red? Maybe I'm misremembering that, though. So there's no chests or anything in here. Or 16. Looks like there should be a treasure coffer here somewhere. We're now at 10 11, which is pretty good. One tenth of the way to max. People are actually being chatty. And the boxes keep trying to give me a Tuft of Phoenix down. Um, you can only have one. So every time it does that, it fails. Oh, 
I'm going to wait here. Ace that explodes. Now our armor is at 13 and our weapon is at 10. Because they level so evenly. Oh good, there's no auto-healing. That's my favorite floor bonus. I said sarcastically. There's a silver chest in here. Level 11? It's still no auto heal for us. It's like we're heading this way. And we are not attacking the giant plant. Fine with me. They like to poison a little much for my taste. Oh, we actually did damage with that one. something somewhere. I guess we have to take out the Marlboro. Unfortunately. Oh no, and he has a friend too. That's good.
And that puts us on level 20 with the giant plant monster. No tank. Pretty awesome. Uh, there's a steel and a strength, but I think it's best to let other people have those. Somebody used the limit break. That was floor 20. And we shall mend the other healer. come out, we've gained two levels, so now we're level 12. Um, try and see if we can queue up for the next one. Looks like we can. Um, and it's taking a little bit longer, so I'll exit and open up the little doodads that we got. Whatever they might be. All right, so we have two bronze trimmed socks. Gray is the first one. And we got a piety materia. And the second, uh, we got a sparkler. A Limson sparkler, specifically. Um, so sometimes you get different things in here, like you can get pets and armor pieces and things like that. Uh, in this case, the material we could use to increase our piety, which I don't exactly remember what does. But we're gonna go fight the evil things instead, so figure it out later. All right, so we're level 33. He's gonna go get that. I'm gonna go this way. So we have one person who has fully upgraded weapons, uh, and the rest of us who do not.
Now, you can only get to... I believe it's level... 100? Uh, with random groups. Um, and then if you want to go any deeper than that, you have to be in a static group. Whether that's, you know, with an actual group or solo. I think the cutoffs are 100 and 200. Like I said, it's it's been a while since I was in here, so. Should be out of range of whatever he's doing. That's 23. That is the sound of very large things moving around.
hello. Oh wait, no, he's gonna get it. Alright, good. So our armor's at 15, which is good. Weapon is still at 11 now. Level 40. Now you may have noticed we're not continuing to gain abilities. Uh, that's because the abilities past level 30 are a part of our job, uh, which is the specialized version of our class, and we have not unlocked our job. So we are somewhat limited with our kit right now. I assume are you? No. It's worth trying. So much like the combos with our Lancer, whenever an ability has a a dashed border around it, something is going on there. Uh, in this case, casting Cure on someone gives me a chance to get a free Cure, which lets me cast Cure 2 for free. Kind of, you know, named appropriately for that. Oh crud. Oh crud. Help! Help! Don't attack the Mimic unless you are crazy. So Mimics give you something called Pox, and the only thing you can get rid of Pox with is uh, the Palmander of Purity, which I think we have one, so he'll probably be okay. I'm not opening the box, though. I don't trust it. Yeah, we had one, so he was able to take that. But you can't get rid of it with anything else, which is kind of frustrating. Um, and it does bad things. Um, it makes it so that you don't heal on your own anymore, and it causes you to take damage over time, and 
Just, it's not good. Now we're fighting giant cubes. And we're level 43. Are we on twenty seven? We get two of those. Let me just go check and make sure it's not in here. Jog, jog, jog. Level 44. of the accursed horde. Be smart enough not to go up to the enemy. Um, and we can tell which dot is ours because it's the one with the green countdown number. Commander of Sight. Oh, used it. Ah, it reveals the floor. That's a good one to have. Uh, 
And our weapon finally increased again. Managed not to get put to sleep that time. We got arrow two and arrow mastery. I assume our arrow is now really cool. It's probably that ability we were just seeing. Yep. Right, and so this should be the level 30 boss. That will be it for us, I think. So we'll have hit an hour. Hopefully we get something good out of our one accursed horde. So what I'm trying to do by moving closer to this thing is make it so that if it decides to shoot at me, um, it will put it nearby this so that we're not spreading them out across the entire uh, field. Because if we do that, we'll end up in a bunch of trouble. So we won't have anywhere where we can stand. Oh dear. Yep. Nowhere to look away for that healed me. What I really needed was an Asuna. Assuming that is doable. There we go. Get out of that. anymore. I do. And it does not have much left. Okay. So it died. We will and go with the tank, even though the other healer did do a good job. Uh, just because I feel like the tank did a better one. And Out we go. I don't have a full inventory. No idea what you're talking about. She has a very long neck, doesn't she? Okay, and now we're level 14. Even too bad for somebody who hasn't done any of their class quests on Conjurer at all. Here's our appraiser. Here we go. We will appraise our one piece of the cursed horde. More piety materia. Cool. 
He's very noisy, isn't he? But that will do it for our adventure in the Palace of the Dead. Uh, let's see if we can equip anything real quick. Well, a few things. Level 12 stuff, which isn't too far off from what level she is. Um, and as you can see, now our glamour has disappeared. Uh, you can only uh, glamour yourself inside of town. Um, so I can't put it back until I get back in town. But that's okay. So that'll be it for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed this video and our little adventure into the Palace of the Dead. And I will see you next time.